Okay, welcome back to Conan Exiles, the Isle of Sipta. I'm the gray-haired gamer. I am your host. And today we are back and we're going to be doing some serious building. There are some areas of our base that we've kind of been neglecting. Uh, and today we're going to remedy that. Uh, but first off, we want to check up on some things we did yesterday. In our last episode, we want to check out our killer cat we went and got him loaded up with a bunch of food and there was a question about uh, whether the food expires spoils when it's being held uh, in a thralls or in this case an animal companions inventory and we can see that none of this food has spoiled so that I think basically answers our question uh, we can load him up uh, with food and not have to worry about uh, about it going all bad okay so before we head out we want to check our tools uh, looks like we have the is that the maelstrom or is this just a regular storm kinda hard to tell uh, but we do want to take killer with us or silver rather so we can use so we can use his inventory uh, one other thing we wanted to do we mentioned last episode was we want to drop a few more torches out in the areas where we're going to be working and we have a few yes right there there are seven of them so we are going to take them out here and you guessed it, we're going to be gathering more materials. So this is always an excellent place, uh, literally right on our doorstep, to get uh, some stone, some berries, uh, even a little bit of iron. So we're going to drop off a couple torches here. And then we also have these trees and stone down here. We're going to light this area up just a little bit. So we can uh, work at night. And as well, it'll keep people uh, from building right up, right up in, our, in our face. Okay, so time to bust out the pickaxe. Time to start doing this wonderful, wonderful harvesting. And we are pretty much going to harvest up uh, everything here. We definitely want all the stone that we can get our hands on. As well, we want to uh, snag up these berries so Silver has some food. We loaded up Kill a Cat in the last episode. So we're going to load up Silver here a bit today. Now what we want to finish up today uh, is we started the uh, the room with a second floor so we can have more room for benches. We want to finish up that first floor there today so we can at least get things organized a bit, see if we're going to need a, possibly a third floor even. Uh, there just are so many benches in this game, my god. There's a bench for everything. Uh, and also, we want to start laying out foundations for our second tower. We have uh, the foundations for the first tower, which is going to serve as a staircase. 
but we want to get the foundations for the second tower, which is uh, going to be uh, protection uh, from the purge, which our purge meter is basically at zero, but still we don't want to wait until the last minute. Uh, it'll also keep uh, nosy neighbors out a little bit more. So yeah, we're just going to try and take everything we can here. The plant fiber we're not really so worried about, but uh, definitely we want to get these berries. And just by putting torches out here, it should not interfere with these resources respawning. Now if we were to take and put like a foundation piece uh, and then a torch on top of it, that could stop these resources from respawning. We really don't want that. But just by putting torches down here, we should be fine. Uh, we are pretty encumbered right now with uh, our armor. We haven't had the chance yet to build the Tinker's Bench and build the weight reduction kits for our armor. Uh, but that'll be coming soon once we have a uh, more room for benches. So we got us up a bit of wood, or a bit of stone rather. Now we want to get the other ingredient for our building materials, which is going to be the wood. And again, luckily we have them uh, right on our doorstep. Well, it's not really luck. This is uh, one of the big reasons why we chose... Uh, to have our base uh, in this area. Over encumbered again. But that's where we got our buddy Silver here, our horse, to, uh, to use. Now we can, we can give Silver the seeds. You can see in the center there his list, his food list. He will eat seeds. But we don't want him to eat seeds. We want the seeds to make uh, oil later on. Uh, we are using a combination of parts, uh, building, building sets, uh, using the sandstone for our foundation pieces and fences and then using the flotsam, floatsam, however you want to pronounce it, set for walls, uh, ceiling tiles, uh, as well as steps. So we'll have that nice combination of the colors. Uh, the, when you build only with one set uh, it looks monochromatic. I mean, you get all wood or all stone, and you really don't get any uh, contrast. And so we're going to use the combination. They roughly, they are both uh, tier one building materials. So they are basically going to have the same strengths when it comes to uh, resisting damage. Uh, but since this is a purely PvE server, <clears throat> the only damage that we really have to worry about our, our buildings taking is from the purge. And we don't have the PvP aspect on this, uh, so we don't really have to worry about just some random asshole player coming up and wanting to gank our shit. Uh, we are uh, live here a little early today uh, just because I wanted to do an extended episode. I uh, really wanted to get some of these projects tackled that we've been uh, talking about. And it just seemed that 
other things kept coming up, uh, like the food issue and whatnot. Okay, so we're starting to get uh, get a few materials here. We almost have a full stack of stone. We have about a half a stack of uh, of wood. How's our tools doing? Both at about half durability. So we will try to stay out here and load up as much as we can until until those break. Uh, we do have some iron ore, iron stone that we can cook up uh, to repair these. Again, that is why I personally only use iron tools. Uh, just the cost of repairing them gets to be ridiculous when you're using steel, hardened steel. I mean, sure, they do give you a little bit more resources per swing, but I can take these iron tools and my tinker's bench and put an efficiency kit on it. And that will give us the same performance as having uh, a tool that's one tier higher, like these iron tools will give us the same amount of goods as a steel tool would at literally uh, more than half the cost. Again, we got some more berries here. We want to load up silver with some, some good food. see how this encumbrance uh, can be an issue, can be a, a, a PETA moment, pain in the ass factor, that every few seconds we are literally having to dump off our inventory. Okay, that should get us a little bit of a start, and uh, we'll go over here and Fix up the rest of this, uh, some more wood. I want to try and have at least, uh, one full stack of wood and one full stack of lumber. Or stone, one full stack of stone, one full stack of of rock, stone, and wood. So let's head up here. Uh, first off, we want to finish off this wall. Uh, where is silver? Come here, buddy. We need our we need our stuff back. So this is going to definitely over encumber us a bit. Okay, you can see there we got silver, two full stacks of food. It'll be good to go for a while now with that. Uh, and again, we adjusted his uh, tactics. We go in here to his behavior and follow distance. We moved that to, uh, I believe it was 10 meters or 15 meters. Uh, no, it, yeah, it was 10 meters. So he will stay back away from us a bit. Uh, so if we get into combat, he's not going to be right in the thick of it and not taking damage. We want to be the ones taking the damage, us and our animal pet, our fighter, and uh, not a horse. Okay, so we're going to get this uh, iron working. Now we do have uh, some steel fire in there. We're actually going to take that out for right now because we want iron for our tools, uh, not steel. Not just yet. So we're actually going to take that and put that, stash that in here for right now. 
Okay, so we let's put uh, Silver in guard mode, so he will not be trying to follow us around. He'll stay out of the pit. There we go. The door. There you go, buddy. Okay, and we build us some more of this flotsam wall. And let's see how many we need. We need one, two, three, four, five, six regular walls, and then six walls with the windows. So we'll free us up a couple spaces in our inventory. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six with the window. And one, two, three, four, five, six without. I think we might have made an extra one there. But that's okay, it won't go to waste. Uh, because when we finish up this, we're gonna finish up uh, our second floor. And again, we always want to make sure that our walls are facing the right way. See, so that one, not only is the print backwards, but the arrow is backwards. See, it's going to be opposite of the rest of them. We want the outer face over on this side, so we're going to flip that around. Now, the rest should lock in, but say the building can be twitchy. There's another one where it did it backwards. And then as far as for this spot right here, we want to have a door frame. We want to be able to come out there. And uh, again, do not confuse the door frame with the gate frame. The gate is the great big one. The door is just the, uh, the little one. And we want that to be faced outwards. And now we can finish up. I'm going to try and get one yeah, right there. And then over here. Okay, to finish up that wall. You can see that I'm not... Oh, we put that in the wrong spot. Uh, I'm not making a ton of pieces at a time. Uh, because I don't want to waste the resources. And one little trick uh, you can do... Well, we have this regular wall, this windowed wall, and this door frame all in our quick slot inventory. If we can select that, even though it's grayed out, if we have the resources, we will build one of those, okay? So instead of going, uh, see there he built one, instead of having to go back into this inventory and finding all the pieces, we can, boom, quick select it, and it makes one. Oop, and we put that in the wrong spot. That was the wrong kind of wall. Now when we tear things down, we do get a little bit of the materials back, but not all. Okay, so we just got one more piece to put here. Okay, good deal. And yeah, we're still over encumbered. We'll take care of that here soon enough. We're going to go in here and put the rest of the ceiling on. Uh, and then we will be able to come out here. We're going to start constructing a large diameter tower here. Uh, the big issue with that is where we want to place it. Uh, we want it to be high enough so that we can have this two layer of uh, fencing up to prevent people from climbing up and over. So we were able to have two rows here. So we may start our tower right here and come out this way. Uh, so we can we can have those extra defenses up. Uh, if it doesn't work out that way, we can build up one level higher. Uh, we have this animal pen here that we will probably have to uh, remove. And unfortunately, this is one of the items that when you 
you just can't pick it back up and put it in your inventory. You, you literally have to destroy it. A lot of the benches, after you build them, <clears throat> like this one is right in, the, right in the way here, our armor's bench of our doorway. We can pick that up, put that back in our inventory without damaging it, and then move it where, wherever we need it to go. Okay, so we do need to build uh, two more wall pieces to close this off here. So one of the no windows and one with windows. Now this situation, see how it's kind of hidden, can be hard to tell what side is what. But if you look, there is a little bit of difference in the outline. I believe we want to... Nope, we were backwards. But since it is just a small little piece, we're not going to sweat it. No one's even going to notice that. But we do want to close that in. Okay, let's head upstairs and we'll build some ceiling pieces. See, there's our random wall that we put up there by mistake. So we have to tear that down. Again, it's a little bit of a waste. Now we're going to clear up this inventory space. And we are going to make some uh, rectangular or square ceiling tiles. We'll start off with 10. I'm not exactly sure. I don't feel like doing the math <laughs> to find out how many more we're going to need. build as as needed here now you can see these are red that's yellow it means it does not have that much support underneath of it when you build them and they're red like that uh, there is a chance it will collapse so let's see if we fill in these other ones if it perhaps uh, gives us some more support by being connected. See, now it's only yellow uh, because it's now connected to four other pieces instead of just one. So now we have a lot more room up here. We will be able to, uh, to spread these benches out a little bit uh, and build a few more. Okay, so we still have some materials left over. We have a full stack of stone and like a quarter stack of lumber, uh, which is perfect because now we're going to switch over to the sandstone set. And see, now you can see we have some nice uh, variation here. It's not all stone colored. We have the nice wood walls. We have a little bit of wood in the floor. And then also the stone in the floor. So we want to come out here and said we were going to build right, uh, right next to this. We were going to come off of this block here. And so we're going to start building our tower. And to do that, we need some triangular sandstone uh, we'll start with 10 of those because we know we're going to need at least 10 and as well we're going to build 10 square ones now for the diameter tower that I want to build as you start uh, with 2 square and then 1 two, three, four, five, triangular, one, two, square, and one, two, three, four, five, and then again, two, square, and you can see how that kind of makes a large round roundish uh, base. 
Now we are going to have a little bit of a problem trying to fill these spots here in. Uh, we're actually going to take this one out. Because it's going to interfere with the rest of the, uh, the tower. The tower floor. Now basically we don't really need to build the entire tower right now. Okay, see now our space is occupied. Now we have to take down our, our pen. Uh, but we don't have to build the entire tower right now. What we're doing here is for uh, for the security aspect. So we just want to at least get one or two rows here, the outer areas, and then fence up. You can see over here we are definitely not going to have room for uh, two rows of fencing. So we may have to go up uh, one higher. And let's see how we got down here. Okay, it looks like we need to put uh, one or two underneath here. Is this, this is the square. Okay. So there we can put that there or else we will not be able to to place our fence. Okay, so let's build a bit of fence. And again, we do not want to use the flotsam fence uh, because it's, while it's kind of cool looking, it doesn't have the defenses. It doesn't have the spikes on it. And that's what we want. The sandstone fence does have the spikes. Uh, that keeps people from climbing up. Okay, so it looks like we need to move this around a little bit. Let's see. And yeah, that will not allow us to build... to build that. Yeah. What we can do is we can get one row started for now and then we can see about now there we can place one it's just right right there we can't so there's a couple things we can do we can put maybe a set of steps there uh, for our access uh, or we can try some uh, fence foundations and here again we're not going to be able to place that but we can possibly uh, put some fence foundations down and uh, then maybe it'll let us do it. Let's try that while we have a little bit of resources left. Uh, it doesn't really matter what set you use for the foundations and that's right beside the fence, fence foundation. So let's make one, two of those uh, of the fence itself and see how how this works so what's nice about this game is you can you're not locked into anything if you build something and you, you don't like it you can take it down okay see now that wants to put that foundation all the way up it does not uh, really allow us to put it down low So it seems we may be, yeah, we cannot decrease or increase our height there either. So it looks like we may be stuck here a little bit, uh, but at least we do have some defenses up. See, like, there we go, we're hurt. We took some little bit of damage and it knocked us down. So at least we do have a bit of security here now. Where before it was just it was it was wide open. So an important thing with the uh, the fencing is to choose the the right fence with the spikes. Uh, the tier two 
Let's look at our feats here real quick, our construction feats. Okay. Uh, this sandstone, you do have the, the, the uh, fence with spikes. Uh, the flotsam set, you do not. Uh, this journeyman, mason, the stone brick, has spikes on its fence. So you can use that as well. Uh, and then your tier 3, uh, your reinforced stone, black ice, uh, all have nasty, wicked looking spikes on it. They don't do any extra damage, they just look a lot more intimidating. Uh, so let's put up our last two pieces of fence that we have. We still have a little bit of gap here. Uh, we'll take care of that in just a moment. So yeah, this is the way this land slopes, even though it's just a very slight slope, uh, kind of screwed us. So we will have to do a bit of a rearranging. Uh, we may have to tear this corner off of our house, uh, put the tower up and put a tower wall up, and then rebuild it so that our wooden building uh, matches right into that. Oop, nope, didn't want to climb up the door. Want to go through the door. You're going to be that big of a pain in the ass, aren't you? Yes, you are. And like I said we, before, we, we put these little outcroppings here so that we can, uh, when we have human brawls to fight for us so we can place them out here to guard and they, they, they will be able to shoot if they're archers uh, they will be able to shoot down off so we're going to go clean out our inventory and uh, by now that uh, that iron stone that we put in the furnace, that should be cooked up. Uh, we're going to repair our tools. We're going to stash this stuff here for a little bit later. And now we'll be able to repair. Yes, there we got 30. We'll be able to repair up our, uh, our tools. And that took all of our iron. Uh, we will take a quick little run. Uh, yeah, and our sword sword there is looking pretty, ooh, pretty rough. And to repair that, uh, we're gonna need steel bars as well as leather. So you can see the steel, uh, the steel tools, steel weaponry are more expensive uh, to repair. Okay, come on, Silver. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. Use your speed as well as your inventory space, and go get us some get us some more materials. Okay, and again, we have uh, our neighbor here that built. Oh, getting a little lag. A little lag usually happens when you come around uh, the other buildings uh, just because it, the computer needs a moment to render all that. Uh, you know, it's kind of a bummer we got to come rolling up on the neighbors in the neighbor's space here, but he literally built right next to uh, one of the biggest iron deposits and coal deposits in the area. And we're over encumbered again. So you can see that uh, we we definitely need to get that tinker's bench going. And uh, get those weight reduction kits for our armor. And 
definitely will be able to, to take care of a few things when we have that armor's bench, or tinker's bench rather. Uh, reducing the weight of our armor is going to be a big one, and as well as increasing the uh, efficiency of our tools. And we will also be able to build a damage kit that will boost up our, our weapon damage. Okay, so we're still doing good here. We got silver that's uh, doing the brunt, doing our heavy lifting for us. And we're going to keep moving around here. See now that this fella built literally right here, there used to be four or five iron deposits that spawned here. But now, because he's right there, they, they won't spawn anymore. So, this fella, I mean, he kicked, picked a pretty cool spot to build, but he literally kind of screwed himself, because now it's cost him resources. These will not respawn here anymore. So that is one thing you want to take into consideration when you're building is you don't build them you want to be close to resources but not too close <clears throat> uh, for example up here where we built not saying that we're like better at this game or anything but uh, we we didn't really lose any resources uh, by building where we did. We still have all the stone, all the wood, all the berries, plant fiber, all literally right, right on our doorstep. Okay, since it is getting again towards evening time, uh, we're gonna gather up some of this stuff. Uh, so we can make a few more torches, the standing torches. Uh, we did get this area lit up, but there is the the woods, uh, the trees on the other side. Uh, we want to light that area up as well, so we can harvest that at night without without any problem. Let's see, we can get rid of a few things here. Uh, we do need some wood. And we also need sticks uh, to build to build our standing torches. Oh, come on, silver! Come on, buddy! Be up here, stay put, and let's clean out your inventory. And when we go to get uh, iron, we want to get a bit of uh, a bit of coal as well, because you can you can quickly run out. Now we do have some steel bars and some leather in our benches. Uh, we should be good to go on that to repair our our weaponry. Uh, right now we're working more on on construction okay so now we have the necessary ingredients we have our plant fiber and wood to make torches and then we have the sticks the uh, sticks to change the regular torches into standing torches so we'll do 10 and then 10 We have been very lucky so far uh, with our purge meter. 
we had a bit of uh, a build up when we first came into the server when we first started building our base it climbed a little bit uh, nowhere near the danger zone but still it was climbing a bit and now it seems to have gone back down uh, I'm going to guess that we have some neighbors that are doing a lot more building than us and uh, have been taking a lot of that heat okay so once these torches are finished we'll clean out our inventory get them in our boxes and then we will uh, we'll go place down these torches so that we have a couple nice areas to harvest materials uh, and we don't have to do it in the pitch black. Uh, and then we'll continue on with our building. Uh, we can work some more uh, on the upstairs area. Yeah, we're over encumbered. It's going to take forever to get up those steps. Uh, or we can go to finish up the tower. Like I said, we may have to destroy part of this corner. Uh, to get our tower in there so we really don't want to build a second story on there and have to destroy more and start at the foundations and go go upwards okay looks like our building is done let's get these uh, materials put away here And we do have a uh, a box for spare uh, building pieces. See, in there we have some steel bars, and I believe we have some leather in uh, in one of the benches there. We'll be able to uh, to fix up our stuff. So let's head on out here. and get us some torches plopped down. As we, uh, we noted before, just placing these torches down uh, will not interfere uh, with these resources respawning. It's only when you place uh, foundation pieces, uh, that type of thing, do you have, do you have to worry about that. We are going to plop one more down right here. Uh, we do want to have... We don't want to have just the inside lit up. We want to have the outside here lit up as well because if the purge would come, uh, we need to be able to see see the enemies. Okay, so we are going to gather up a bit more wood. We did not bring silver with us this time. So we are going to run out of encumbrance very, very quickly. Uh, but what we can do is, uh, we talked about this little trick previously. We're going to manufacture on the fly to keep our weight down. see we need a little more stone uh, to do this tower we, we're going to use the sandstone pieces and there we're over encumbered and we're going to take care of that here in a moment uh, okay see we're at 104 percent 
but when we construct some of these pieces and that's also a bonus of using tier one materials is you can create them on the fly uh, you don't have to process the materials first like uh, even tier two you have you don't use regular wood you use uh, shaped wood uh, you don't use stone you you use hardened br or bricks uh, and then you also have to have iron reinforcements which means you have to go harvest ironstone you have to harvest coal you have to cook uh, the ironstone into iron bars and then go to the blacksmith's bench and forge them into iron reinforcements uh, it's just a lot more material intensive it's a lot more time intensive uh, and for just laying out your foundations it's completely unnecessary now we built this all using tier one materials so far but if we want to come back later and make this look nicer make it into tier two or uh, tier three gear we can upgrade we don't have to tear down the existing it will snap the new piece on right over top and let us just upgrade it man this encumbrance of this armor we need to get that bench soon this is a pain in the butt Okay, so we're going to finish out the outer rim, the outer tier, the outer layer, whatever you want to call it, of this tower. And that's all it's going to let us see. Okay, we are going to definitely have to go up uh, one, one higher on this, uh, on these foundations, so... We're going to take this down for now. We are going to try to pick up our torch. Yeah, the torches will go back in our inventory. You can see we're getting a tiny little bit of materials back. Back from this. Looks like there's a... Looks like a couple neighbors running on through down there. Wonder where they're off to. Okay, so one, two more bullets. Okay, this is okay for right now. So now we're going to. Oop place another stack so they can be a little twitchy getting it right where you want to be so you can move around there we go just be careful before you click that button because it will kind of just put things where it wants rather than where you want them to go resources okay well that's okay because that one can go right there now you can see that uh, when we fill this all in we will be above the slope of this land and this will also if we look at it from this angle uh, pretty much take care of our fence situation because now instead of having one row here and the top row being here we'll be able to have one row here in between and then one row at the new top so we will still have our two layers 
of, uh, of fencing up there. And then we'll also fix that situation here. We'll have one row here in the middle and one row on on the top so that will that'll keep out uh, keep out pretty much all the invaders for someone to get in here they would literally have to go climb up this cliff and hope they have a lot of stamina and then climb sideways and down uh, your purge uh, invaders are, are not going to do that they're not going to climb that kind of stuff but you can see, yes, we are going to have to tear down a bit of our uh, building. Let's take out that. Take out this. I'm surprised it didn't destroy above it here as well. Okay, we are going to have to move our bench. Yes, I know we're over encumbered. We're over encumbered pretty badly. But we should have enough room to squeeze these in here together. Yes, there we go. Good deal. Okay. Uh, now we do want to get clean up. This is these are the items that were in our armor bench. Uh, say what it is. Nice, nice thing that when you pick up a bench and move it, you pick up everything that was in the bench as well, so you don't lose uh, all your all your materials. So let's go ahead. We are going to need these stacks. Definitely the stack of stone and the uh, the lumber, the wood. Okay, how much more do we need to? tear down here. We need to tear this out. This out. Just want to take her time here and do this kind of piece by piece. Said so we are going to have a little bit of a gap. Uh, we are n n not going to be able to get that to, to line up exactly, exactly right, unfortunately. Uh, we are going to tear this, this out. Okay, now when you're picking up these torches, be careful that you're actually picking up the torch. So you keep saying, Sandstone Wedge Foundation. No, we want the torch. Sandstone Foundation. I want to pick up the torch. There we go.
Not enough stability? Come on. Okay, sometimes these things can be a bit twitchy. You have to move around. Overlapping another object. What object are we overlapping? Okay, let's try taking out this piece of fence. And that is not it. Take out this piece of wall. And that was it. There we go. Okay, so we want to continue on around. We want to get this outer tier done first. And the designs for these towers, uh, trust me, I did, I did not create this uh, design. You can go on Google or any of your search engines and type in uh, Conan Exiles uh, tower design and you will get literally a, a bunch of different floor plans that you can, you can uh, follow or adapt to you know, whatever you need. Okay, and that brought us right up to our our cliff face. So now we can we can start on the second uh, row in around here. So the only issue I think we're really going to have is going to be down at this corner uh, when we combine uh, our wood building to to the tower. But we'll do the best we can. This whole tower was more, uh, basically improvisation than anything else. It wasn't part of any pre-planned, uh, design. And, uh, and that's what you got to do when you're building to the terrain. Uh, you have to keep a little bit of flexibility, a little bit of ingenuity. If you want to do a uh, like a grand complex floor plan and plan it all out beforehand, uh, that's great. I've seen some really incredible uh, designs done like that, but. For that, you're gonna gonna go out like over there and find yourself a big, empty, basically flat space where the terrain isn't isn't really a factor. Uh, with designs like this, where we're at now, you know, it's definitely the terrain is a factor. We have to play to that. We have to take that into our designs. So we do need to be a bit flexible.
stone. And you can see here now, uh, since we put these torches up here, it everything came back. All the resources come back. It did not uh, affect that at all. Okay, so we're going to build us some more fence. There we go. And that'll drop. Mm, did not drop our encumbrance enough. That half stack of lumber uh, really weighed us down. Now you can see things are, are starting to shape up a little bit here for us. Uh, we went from just a plain, plain foundation, a plain like square slab, to now we have a little bit of character to it. We have some outcroppings. Uh, we have the the wood building going up in the middle. Uh, we have the start of our staircase that will eventually go let us up to the top. Uh, it's starting to take, definitely take some shape now, and it has a bit of character. I mean, I don't again, I don't like to bust on other builders, but our neighbor over there with just the plain, big square block, big wall. Uh, just isn't that thrilling to me. It's just not that creative. Okay, so now if we come down here see now we can place one row of fence there and our second row of fence up top. And now we have two rows of fence. Actually, we're going to have three here. So we can take this one down, recover a bit of the materials. And now we'll have our defenses. Said it may not stop a another player uh, from getting in our in, on our zone here, uh, but they are going to have to work hard to get into our shit now. Not enough resources. What are we missing? We're missing stone uh, still. And there is stone literally like right here beside us. Now if this was a uh, PVC per... Yeah, PBC, PVP server. There we got it out. Uh, if this were a PVP server, uh, defenses would have been much much higher on our list of priorities even if we were on the limited pvp uh where it's only player versus player on certain time windows still uh defense and getting these fences up and things like that would have been very very high on our priorities just to protect our things 
And in that case, we would also have uh, been building with higher grade materials. We would have been trying to build with tier two and tier three gear right off the get-go, just because the higher the tier, uh, the stronger, uh, the more defense those pieces have. Because I hate to say it, but on PvP servers, you can meet some really cool people, but you can also meet some real dicks. And there will be people on those servers that will come around with explosives and everything just to fuck your day up for no real good reason. Uh, looks like this last little piece there, we're not probably going to be able to get a second row on it. Uh, but we can put other defenses up there. Okay, oh, perfect, just enough. We can put... Uh, other fence pieces here that go on the ground that will protect this little corner from people going up. Uh, like I said, a person, another player would literally have to climb up this cliff and then climb all the way sideways and then drop down in inside our wall. We do have one tiny little gap there yet as well, but yeah, we can't get in there. So, there we go. At least we got the foundation laid out. And uh, we got our defenses up. So that was a huge, huge improvement for us. I was uh, concerned about having that open there. But now we got that, that plugged up. Uh, so that leaves us one last thing to try and figure out, and that is this area right here, which will basically be the entrance uh, to our little compound, our little fortress, what have you. Uh, we have to figure out what we're going to do. There's a couple options. We could put a large gate here. Uh, that we could ride our horse in and out uh, but has less defenses or we could put a series of uh, two regular door frames like back to back uh, so that if someone were to break in they would have to totally destroy the door uh, and then boom they would be faced with another door uh, with, that they would have to destroy as well uh, so there are some options we can do there. Uh, we'll we'll figure that out in another episode, I think. Uh, for right now, we want to go... What's our level? We're at level 38. I think we're going to go put the our materials away. And I think we're going to go kill some shit for a little bit. Not enough space in inventory. See, now this is why we want to uh, work on the, the next step up in storage. Not the wooden box, but the cupboard and the, what do they call it, the large chest. So we can fit more in the same, in the same space. Okay, we also we got our steel bars. We also need to find uh, we had some leather so that we can fix our there it is. So we can fix our short sword. That may be enough. Probably not, knowing my luck. 
Okay, and that just used steel bars. There we go, excellent. Okay. Let's go kill a cat. Let's go get you some XP. We did pretty well with him yesterday. We leveled him up like twice, I believe. Up, oh, see, now some of that's starting to spoil. Uh, okay, so it will not last forever in our uh, pet's inventory. That's kind of a bummer. Uh, we got Kill a Cat up to level 9. He's about halfway to level 10. Uh, I'm excited to see what his uh, first perk is going to be. Uh, we are going to take Silver with us, even though he may not, we may not be riding him the whole time. He will still get experience points for us being out and about. And now, if we can do this right, you can order your pet to attack. See, there we go. Uh, placing the dot on the target. But usually, you have to be so close to give the order to attack that you aggro the animal. You know, that you aggro them and they come after you anyhow. Uh, so now you can see we told uh, Silver to stay back a little bit so that he will not get involved in the uh, in the, the bloodshed that's about to happen here with these rhinos. Okay, we are going to send Killer Cat into attack first, and then we're going to win a place in Corporal. And yeah, we are going to have all three of them up here in the grill. But now we have some awesome steel weapons. Killer Cat is leveled up. He can take a little bit of a beating. We're just going to go in here and roll in on these guys and kill them all. And there we go. We gained a level. Uh, we do have a uh, we loaded up Killer Cat on the food last time, so we are going to skin these guys for hides this time. We want to keep a back stock, a little stash of uh, thick leather, as well as regular leather, in case we need to repair uh, our armor. And now, with the exotic flesh, this is not part of Silver's menu. He does not eat meat, so we can safely put uh, this food in Silver's inventory and know uh, that he's not going to eat it. Kill a cat, on the other hand, he'll, he'll eat it. Okay, so let's move on here. Let's, we, we did level up. Well, we got eight more experience points. Awesome. So now we're up to costing six for our vitality. We are closing in on that third perk that we want. And we are going to put one more point into survival. We've been going through water uh, like crazy and food like crazy. How did I get one in accuracy? Oh, it came from armor. And we will put one more point into our agility, boost up our armor class a little bit, boost up our recovery from dodging just a little bit, and we will see what new technologies we've unlocked. Okay, there we have a advanced armor patch kit and weapon kit. Uh, that's also made at our Tinker's Bench we were talking about earlier. Uh, we can make a dismantling bench, but we really don't need to dismantle anything right now. 
Here's uh, armor flexibility, armor plating. That costs four. We kind of want to get that. And now this is the one we really want. The weapon damage kit and our tool upgrade kit. We will spend the points on that. Uh, that's going to definitely help us out. Especially that tool upgrade kit. Like I said, uh, mentioned pre previously that we will be able to take our iron weapons and put those kits on there and they will perform as if they were uh, steel. Now a couple times we come up here and we encountered a one skull boss, uh, a caribou, a big giant deer. Uh, I don't know if he's going to respawn here now with the neighbor's building so close. I think Kill a Cat may be able, with our help, to, uh, to take down a One Skull boss. But in the meantime, we can, we can keep fighting these rhinos. Where they were a challenge before, they are now pretty much uh, easy money. Yeah, there we go. Our follower leveled up. That's what we wanted. Let's see here, Killa. Oh no, that was not Killa that leveled up. Other follower, our horse, leveled up. Silver leveled up. How are you doing, buddy? Let's check your stats out here. He is level 11 now, so he did get a perk. Let's see what that is. Okay, he got a tame perk. Uh, your follower has been well-bred and can withstand negative effects more easily. So that gave him a plus three to survival. Ugh. I mean, it is a bonus. Uh, so it's better than a negative uh, perk, but it's to survival. Uh, basically, I guess it will make his food last longer. Couldn't have been anything like vitality or something really useful, but maybe uh, maybe kill a cat will get that perk. So we started off early game, we were farming uh, the rock monsters that were between our base and uh, the Violet Lake, the Violet Isle. And now we've, uh, we've upgraded our game here a little bit, now we're farming out these rhino. Not only are they worth... Uh, a lot more XP than the rock monsters, but they also drop a lot better, uh, a lot better stuff, you know, with the rhino hide, the thick hide, as well as the, uh, exotic meat. The rock monsters literally drop rock, and if you were lucky, a little bit of crystal. I think they glitch. Or the guys, they go to attack and then they just stand there. Okay, that's cool. We'll take, it. We'll take some free kills. We'll stand here and wail on you. And not take any damage. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Okay, let's get our torch out. It is getting dark. I uh, apologize to everybody watching uh, the replays of this. Because I know when you watch the replay, it's even darker than what it appears to me. Uh, unfortunately, there is uh, there's nothing I can do about that. Uh, if you are liking the video, 
Uh, if you find it useful or helpful anyway, uh, please consider giving a uh, thumbs up, a like, a follow. Your support is what makes this channel possible. Uh, and every little bit of help that we can get is uh, is truly appreciated and goes wonders for keeping uh, keeping our channel going. Okay, let's go ahead and head back to our base and take care of this uh, this gear, these spoils of war that we've taken. silver some XP just by being out here with us running around and, and taking a ride on him so there you can see now that it's nighttime uh, just how big an improvement putting those torches out uh, really did now we can work we can come out here and work in this area at night and not worry about it uh, as well we can come out over here and work in this area at the dark at night and not really worry about that so some big bonuses there today and again with uh, with the construction that we managed to do say we made some pretty substantial improvements and again you always want to put your animals in the guard you don't want to keep them following you when you log out uh, especially because if we go now say we take silver and we go run out and we hit a three skull boss by accident and we get our ass beat and we get killed uh, if we log out silver will revert and teleport back to the last place he stood guard at which is gonna be you know right outside our base we're not gonna have to go run around and try to find him out in the wilderness uh, we're not gonna have to try and fight our way back in uh, to the boss that killed us just to try to rescue our horse okay yeah we had a lot of food go bad here my goodness uh, it will be a blessing for us when we uh, unlock the preservation box Let's go into our feats and have a look at that. See how much longer we have to go wasting all this food. Uh, it's basically an ice box. I believe it does take a little bit of insulated wood. Uh, probably some iron fittings or steel fittings. And then we have to go harvest some ice to put inside of it and it will keep keep the food in there uh, from going bad a lot longer okay I'm still not seeing this we have all this download content all these building pieces for download content <laughs> there's our next saddle upgrade that comes at level 40 That'll give uh, silver a lot more armor. And there's what we're looking for. A preservation box. Level 43. And we have to have a drying rack. Uh, before we can build that. Uh, that's to make insulated wood. Uh, protect against cold and heat. So we build that. It's very small. It's definitely worth doing. And our food will last a lot, lot longer.
So let's uh, clean out our inventory here. There's quite a bit we can put into... Uh, we can dump off into our tanner's table for now. Uh, these hides. And do we have anything else now? Okay, now we're no longer encumbered. So we, uh, while we're still pretty far away from completing our base, at least we're, we're still pretty far away from completing just this part of our base, uh, we are slowly getting closer. Like I said, this right here, getting this outer rim and the fence put up, was a huge step in our uh, upgrading our defenses. Uh, we should have room up here when we get this all filled in. Uh, we, sh we will have enough room that we can put, uh, say, we should be able to put maybe a small animal pen as well as a stable here. Uh, we will definitely have enough room that we could put like a religious shrine. We haven't really messed around with that yet uh, or we could put even probably like a, a medium or large wheel of pain up here to start breaking uh, human thralls so this will definitely give us some more some more work workspace and again it'll be it'll be completely defended uh, again, our only real trick is going to be getting uh, this little bit here sorted out and getting things, the, getting the pieces to match up. Uh, that's the only, the only stickler, the only pain in the butt when you're mixing uh, square and triangular pieces is sometimes they don't line up exactly. But we're going to do the best the best we can. It's just going to basically make this corner of this wooden building a bit odd. Uh, so I think that is going to do it for this episode. We're running about an hour and a half. We did go a little bit longer than what we normally do. Uh, if you do like the longer episodes... Uh, please feel free uh, to let us know that either in the comments on our YouTube channel uh, or also on Twitch. Uh, we love hearing from the fans. We love hearing from the viewers. Uh, we are here. We are here to help help you guys out as much as we are here to have fun ourselves. Said I enjoy this game, uh, and if I can help someone else find the game just as enjoyable well then I call that a winning day so until next time I am the gray haired gamer your host again if you like the, the content please consider giving a follow a thumbs up a like every little bit of your support does wonders and uh, until next time exile keep on thriving and surviving uh, and keep on dominating in Conan Exiles, the Isle of Sipta. Until next time, take care, and we'll see you then.